Ah, the weekend. After a busy week at the office, there's nothing better than a quiet, relaxing, easygoing weekend on the boat. But seriously, here's what happened this weekend on our boat restoration project. I started by removing some more of the floorboards to gain better access to the ballast compartments. Like this I was quickly able to remove the metal ligates in the middle compartment. This may look easy here in the time lapse, but it's actually really hard work. More on that later. After an entire afternoon of removing the ballast, I started doing some initial cleaning, just to remove some of the bigger pieces of old paint, rust and dirt. And after most of the larger debris was removed, I could finally inspect the condition of the metal here on the bottom of the hull. And while it's not great, it's actually also not that bad. Certainly nothing that some rust converter and a good paint job couldn't fix. Next I chose to give it a go with the angle grinder with a steel brush on it to remove even more rust and old paint. Once the dust had settled and actually on another day, I could finally devote myself back to my favorite task, removing the ballast from those floor compartments. And man, pardon me, but I really want to emphasize how tough this is. Here, have a look at this. Ah, my whole body hurts just from looking at this. Anyway, there you go. Next it was time to clean the more delicate parts like the steering mechanism. By the way, you may have seen in previous videos that we attempted to remove the windows a couple of times unsuccessfully. So this time I decided to adopt a slightly different strategy. At this point it was time to prepare those ballast compartments for the upcoming paint job. And as you can see this was really messy work, which is why I removed the window earlier. Because none of the windows in the rear cabin actually open up. All right. This is the condition of the hull at the moment. You can see I only managed to remove half of the dirty old wood panels simply because I had to store all of this ballast, these metal ligates somewhere. And the plan for today is to clear out these two compartments. Hopefully maybe I can even start to put down the first layer of primer so that at the end of this weekend hopefully I can put back these ligates and then I can start removing the remaining of the floor and then paint everything in one go. Once I removed all the rust and old paint as best as I could it was time to apply some rust converter. For this I use Overtroll oil which can be brushed directly onto the metal or mixed into the paint I actually ended up doing both. Right, good morning. So there's been a little change of plan for today because these two compartments have not completely dried. So the rust converting oil is, is still a little wet. 
I cannot paint there, probably not today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up a little here, move these boxes around to another side of the room and then start removing the floorboards over there. Now I know this is not the most logical way of doing things, but I don't really have a choice. I have to move on, I have to do something and given the limitations of time and space I have here, that's the best way I, I came up with for now. The first thing to do was to cut off that remaining piece of old rusty exhaust pipe. And to finish the job I had to remove the floor panels, otherwise I couldn't access the pipe from underneath. Alright, there you have it. We have about three quarters removed of the floor panels and as expected the condition of the hull in the areas closer to the front are in much better shape. There is practically no rust so I'm really happy about that and plus now that I removed those boards here in the back I have access to a whole new area of the boat which I hadn't even seen before and it's this area all right so I took the liberty to remove all of the woodwork that was stuck in that corner simply because we plan to put something there in that area which I'm not going to reveal yet what it is but as soon as we are confirmed that we can put that there I will I will let you know and anyway for that we needed to remove all the wood we need to be working with the bare metal so to say and the last thing that I want to show you in this video is that when I came back on another day the rust converter was finally dry and I was able to apply the first coat of primer. And this is what it looked like when the first layer was done. And that concludes week number 5 of this boat restoration project. Once again the week ended completely differently than what I had envisioned at the start. But overall the progress was quite good. As usual, we worked a lot, learned a lot and suffered a lot. With that I'm signing off and I hope to see you next time.